Well, and that's exactly one of the reasons why Raymond James, this analyst over there, is downgrading shares, just saying basically the valuation is too rich. Should note that it's a, a kind of a milestone day for Palantir with it being added to the S&P 500, but not necessarily uh, kicking it off on an upbeat note with shares off about four tenths of one percent. The Raymond James analysts uh, downgraded shares to market perform from outperform without a price target. Still positive on the company, but basically, as I said, valuation just too rich, saying while we remain optimistic about Palantir's longer term positioning in AI, we are downgrading our rating given our view that shares need to consolidate stellar gains over the last couple of years and grow into its rich valuation. The analyst points out that shares were up uh, about, about 20 percent in the past two weeks after S&P Dow Jones announced that it was going to be added. At the time of the note, also added that shares are up 120 percent year to date. That's more like 117 percent year to date right now, sixfold over two years, and says the stock's valuation has expanded fivefold, making it the richest software name, saying that leaves significant positive estimate revisions as the loan catalyst from here. So in terms of what other analysts are, are, are rating Palantir at, uh, pretty, uh, they were already pretty cautious or more bearish. 42% uh, of analysts have a hold rating on shares, 32% have a sell rating, and then 26% have a buy rating. So pretty split. It's hard to predict how much more Palantir's growth will accelerate, but this growth story seems to be in its early chapters. Can Palantir become a trillion dollar company? Uh, in terms of the analyst activity, mm. uh, but shares right now only off about two tenths of 1%, still up about 18% in September alone. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess the valuation call shouldn't be too big of a surprise, kind of saying, uh, you know, maybe take a little profit and move on uh, after a unique breakout that uh, hasn't been answered by uh, really many of its peers. Some of the cyber trades are up near the highs that are doing okay. You know, it's definitely a sector within tech that is doing uh, uh, uniquely well. Uh, but I can definitely kind of see at this point where, you know, if you've had a buy rating or you've been bullish on this to maybe say, okay, uh, back down to more of a neutral. You know, that's the type of thing that is like as good of a downgrade as you can get, I guess. To become a $1 trillion company, Palantir must grow roughly sevenfold from its current size. Revenue growth, valuation, or both can achieve that. Yeah, I mean, not going all out bearish, but exactly. yeah, just moving to the sidelines with uh, not a lot of catalysts for upside, okay. according to that analyst. And, right. you know, obviously other analysts were all already more cautious, some bearish. So it's not like uh, this analyst is, you know, in the minority. Yeah, okay. Uh, rich valuation, to say the least. Fair enough. Uh, Palantir, you know, 100 times uh, forward earnings uh, plus. So uh, totally get where they're coming from. Microsoft, maybe a little bit uh, more problematic to the narrative uh, if you're getting. For long term believers, Palantir's trajectory could mirror the meteoric rise of companies like Oracle and Cisco during their heydays. With its unique ability to integrate complex data solutions across industries, Palantir is positioned to dominate a market where legacy systems are struggling to keep pace. Closed up at a new 52-week high during its first day of trading on the S&P 500. This despite a downgrade from Raymond James to market perform from outperform. The analyst remains enthusiastic about Palantir's longer-term positioning in AI, but said shares need to consolidate stellar gains over the last couple of years and grow into its rich valuation. Shares are up more than 120% so far this year. Palantir Technologies, Inc builds agile solutions for data-driven operations and decision-making. Its artificial intelligence platform, AIP, has transformed its business, which is used to test, debug code, and evaluate AI scenarios. Let's take a look at tomorrow's economic calendar. We'll get fresh data on consumer confidence, as well as the Case-Shiller Home Price Index. And on the earnings front, AutoZone reports before the opening bell, KB Home reports after the bell. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Caroline Woods. Remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com. Palantir's stock must trade at some pretty high valuations to achieve a $1 trillion market cap on $7 billion to $15 billion in revenue. The stock's price-to-sales S ratio would need to be between 67 and 143, depending on whether Palantir's revenue hits the high or low end of these projections. Palantir Technologies, Inc. is a data analytics and artificial intelligence AI company with a strong focus on the defense and law enforcement sectors. 
the company provides powerful analytics tools that help government agencies analyze vast amounts of data to uncover patterns and actionable insights. Its software as a service model allows clients to access its platforms continuously for a recurring fee, ensuring steady revenue. The company has its roots in the US war on terror during the 2000s, where it played a crucial role in sensitive missions, including the search for Osama bin Laden. Over time, Palantir Technologies Inc.'s technology has been utilized by agencies like Immigration and Customs Enforcement for law enforcement purposes, particularly during the Trump administration for profiling and deportations. Following Donald Trump's return to the White House, there has been a surge of optimism among investors regarding increased federal spending on national security and defense initiatives. As of November 26th, Palantir Technologies Inc. has surged nearly 44% over the past month. In Q3, 2, 0, 2, 4, Palantir Technologies Inc. reported impressive financial growth, with US revenue increasing by 44% year over year to 499 million. The US government segment alone saw a 40% revenue growth, reflecting strong demand for its services and national security. The company secured 104 deals worth over a million dollars during the quarter and grew its customer count by 39% year over year. On September 2020, 2024, Palantir Technologies Inc. secured a significant five-year contract to expand its Maven smart system capabilities across all branches of the US military, including the Army, Air Force, Space Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. Overall, PLTR ranks second on our list of the best prison and law enforcement stocks to invest in. While we acknowledge the potential of PLTR as an investment, our conviction lies in the belief that AI stocks hold greater promise for delivering higher returns and doing so within a shorter time frame. If you are looking for an AI stock that is more promising than PLTR, but that trades at less than five times its earnings, check out our report about the cheapest AI stock. For long-term believers, Palantir's trajectory could mirror the meteoric rise of companies like Oracle and Cisco during their heydays. With its unique ability to integrate complex data solutions across industries, Palantir is positioned to dominate a market where legacy systems are struggling to keep pace. If Fitzgerald's prediction holds, Palantir could hit triple digits by next year, but investors might want to buckle up for a wild ride as the stock navigates both technical and market dynamics. Whether Palantir becomes the next oracle or carves its own path, one thing is clear. This data giant isn't slowing down anytime soon. Fitzgerald, speaking on Fox Business, shared an upgraded outlook for the data analytics powerhouse. Initially, Forecasting a $100 price target within three to five years, he now expects Palantir to hit that milestone by mid next year. This thing is a monster, he said. Nobody else has got a product like it. It's meshing data, software that makes software work. Every legacy provider right now is in trouble. The analysts' comparisons to industry titans like Oracle and Cisco come as Palantir continues to disrupt with its innovative data solutions. Artificial intelligence, AI has dominated Wall Street's attention since bursting onto the scene roughly two years ago. While NVIDIA was arguably the hottest AI stock of 2023, Palantir Technologies, PLTR, 0.47%, seems to have taken the lead in this year's race. The stock price has exploded, appreciating over 235% over the past year and roughly 900% since January 2023. What sparked the price jump in 2024? It likely has to do with the company's artificial intelligence platform, AIP, which is a smashing success and has helped ignite profitable and accelerating revenue growth. I share stock market's latest news, datas and important information on my Telegram channel. If you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else, open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel. Now, with Palantir at a $147 billion market cap, is it time for investors to think bigger? Could Palantir become a trillion dollar company by 2030? Here is what you need to know. Palantir's technology is flexible enough to capture AI's widespread impact. It doesn't seem like a stretch to call AI one of the most significant advances in modern history. According to market research firm IDC, AI could create nearly $20 trillion in cumulative economic value by 2030. That's both directly and indirectly, meaning it's counting not just AI applications themselves, but the value AI can create across other industries through increased productivity and efficiency. Why is this important? It shows how diverse AI's impact can be. 
and that plays directly into Palantir's hands. Palantir creates and deploys custom AI, machine learning, and data analytics software. This software can do a countless number of jobs. Palantir got its start in government work, aiding in classified missions within the military. Palantir got out the COVID-19 vaccine during the pandemic. Today, it's helping hospital systems run efficiently and detecting financial fraud, among dozens of other applications. Any organisation large enough to have many moving parts, people, processes and data, is a potential customer. Are you missing the morning scoop? Start your day ahead of the game with the market's top stories and key investing insights. Breakfast News delivers it all in a quick, foolish and free daily newsletter that lands in your inbox every market morning. US momentum drives Palantir's growth and there's room to run. Palantir's total revenue grew 30% year over year in the third quarter, but its US revenue grew 44%, driven by 40% growth in government business and 54% commercial growth. As US revenue grows and makes up a more significant part of the total pie, it's accelerating the company's total top line growth. Palantir has grown its US commercial client base fivefold over the past three years um, and still, remarkably, has uh, just 321 um, US commercial customers. Um, there are approximately 200, oh, zero, yes, uh, zero large companies in the United States. Um, that's a wide open opportunity, uh, even, even if Palantir ultimately works with just a um, fraction of them. First, let's project what Palantir's revenue might look like by 2030. Analysts estimate Palantir's 2024 revenue will come in at $2.8 billion. I'll extrapolate that out five years, at hypothetical growth rates of 20%, 30%, and 40%. That would look like this. I'm not going to tell you it's impossible. Snowflake was one of the hottest stocks on Wall Street in late 2021 when the company's P slash S ratio peaked at 183. However, that was during a stock market bubble. Snowflake is still down almost 60% from its former high, and its P slash S ratio has collapsed by 90%. Such extreme valuations rarely end well. Today, Palantir trades at a P slash S ratio of 58. That's not 2021 Snowflake high, but it's even higher than its peak during that same market bubble. Technically speaking, Palantir can defy the odds, but I'd say it's doubtful the stock will approach a $1 trillion market cap by 2030. Palantir is a mighty impressive company, but the problem is that the stock is already baking in at least a few years' worth of growth. The math could dramatically change if the stock crashes to a much lower valuation or Palantir grows well beyond the 40% rate I projected. But beyond those things, Palantir's stock is arguably a bubble itself, which may eventually disappoint investors expecting more big things from the stock. Given all this, it's highly unlikely Palantir can hit a trillion dollar valuation in just over five years, but the odds of it outpacing the market overall are still within reach, and it's still worth a closer look. Palantir Technologies Inc. PLTR is having a banner year, with its stock surging over 235% in the past year and showing no signs of slowing. Market strategist Keith Fitzgerald believes this is just the beginning, boldly claiming that Palantir could rival Oracle Corp or CL, Cisco Systems Inc, SEO, and SAP SAES, and hit $100 per share sooner than you think. Palantir could hit $100 by mid-2025, says expert. Fitzgerald, speaking on Fox Business, shared an upgraded outlook for the data analytics powerhouse. Initially forecasting a $100 price target within three to five years, he now expects Palantir to hit that milestone by mid next year. This thing's a monster, he said. Nobody else has got a product like it. It's meshing data software that makes software work. Every legacy provider right now is in trouble. The analyst comparisons to industry titans like Oracle and Cisco come as Palantir continues to disrupt with its innovative data solutions. Fitzgerald emphasised the company's unmatched product offering, suggesting it could outpace traditional providers struggling to adapt to modern data demands. Read also Palantir's YTD return surge 298%. Here's how ETFs with exposure to Alex Karp's company have performed. These technical signals underscore a strong uptrend, with PLTR's moving average convergence divergence, MACD, at 5.51, 
another indicator of a buying opportunity. However, investors should note the RSI of 73.3, suggesting the PLTR stock is in overbought territory. Palantir, a long-term play. If Fitzgerald's prediction holds, Palantir could hit triple digits by next year, but investors might want to buckle up for a wild ride as the stock navigates both technical and market dynamics. Whether Palantir becomes the next oracle or carves its own path, one thing is clear, this data giant isn't slowing down anytime soon. On November 25th, Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives raised the firm's price target on Palantir Technologies Inc. N-I-S-E-C-I-P-L, to $75 from $57 and kept an outperform rating on the shares. The analyst told investors in a research note that it's time for the broader software space to get in on the AI party. Anticipating a surge in use cases, it also anticipates that the enterprise consumption phase will begin in 2025 with the launch of large language models across the board. The firm states that the true adoption of generative AI will be a major catalyst for the software sector. Looking closely at top shareholders, Vanguard owns the highest stake in PLTR at 10.31%. Next up is Vanguard Index Funds, which holds a 9.8% stake in the company. Among the top ETF holders, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, VTI, owns a 2.95% stake in Palantir stock, followed by Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, with a 2.45% stake. Um, moving to mutual funds, Vanguard Index Funds holds about 9.8% of PLTR, um, whereas Fidelity Concord Street Trust owns 0.89% of the stock. Is PLTR a good stock to buy now? Palantir has a hold consensus rating based on three buys, seven holds, and six sell ratings assigned over the last three months. The average PLTR stock price target of $38.73 implies about 41.36% downside potential from current levels. Interestingly, Jim Cramer, the well-known host of CNBC's Mad Money program, is crediting Musk for driving the recent momentum in Palantir shares. Cramer wrote, Palantir is up a lot because I believe Musk is going to turn to them and say, the Defence Department, it's yours, get rid of all those people. With this perspective, it's a good time to, to explore who owns PLTR.